Hi friends. I think, I think this is working now. If it's working, can you tell me that you're there so that I can see you? There's Bill. Hi, Bill. And Allison. Hi, Allison. And Catherine. I just keep watching the sidebar to see who's going to show up. Hi, Anicia. Hi, Bill. Hi, Randy. Hi, Allison. Oh, this is fun. Hi, Kim. <laughs> All right. Um, if you are just joining and while we're giving everybody a few minutes to join, if you didn't see my post this morning, if you would um, go grab um, paper. It doesn't matter what kind of paper it is. Um, go grab some markers or color pencils or um, your favorite ink pens or um, Sharpie pens, whatever. Um, go grab all that stuff and bring it back with you. Um, and we'll get started in just a few minutes. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kathy and Evelyn and Laura and Buddy and Walter. Hi, everyone. So who knew that Facebook Live was more challenging than I expected? Um, I had to download Google Chrome to get it to work. So I'm sorry we're starting a little bit later than I thought we would. But it's working now, so that's good. If you just logged in, um, if you would go get some paper, some markers, uh, colored pencils, pens, whatever it is that you um, like to doodle with. We'll give it a couple minutes. Hi, bye. Hi, Robin. I thought about trying to play some music in the background, but Carol um, figured out for us yesterday that that wasn't going to work. So I was grateful for her um, experience so that we don't do that again today. Um, but music is helpful. So if you have it in the background and you want to play it while you're doing this um, with me, then that's also great. I just can't do it here. Oh, hi, sister-in-law, Leslie. It's good to see you. Hi, Beth. I'm going to type here some pens and pencils and paper if you are just joining us. As you can see, I'm hanging out in my kitchen this week. It's not a very exciting landscape behind me, but this has been where all the work is happening. So welcome to the table of inspiration. All right. Um, again, if you're just joining with us, um, go grab some markers and pens and pencils and paper. Um, doesn't matter what those things are. And if you would rather use technology, um, there are doodle apps. So if you already have a doodle app or a drawing app or a sketch app or something like that that you use, um, then that's a great choice too for what we're gonna do today. Um, a quick update on us. Um, of course, we are here at home. Uh, many of you know that uh, my husband Tyler has a chronic illness, um, so we uh, chose late last week to start to um, self-isolate just out of uh, concern for him and his health to try to keep the germs away. Um, and so we're at home and save the Facebook Live on Sunday morning. Uh, we have not been out. Um, and so uh, 
So yeah, we're getting used to this new rhythm. Um, everyone in our house is well. Um, we've watched Frozen 2 four times out of five days. Um, we are making up lots of games. There's lots of uh, on a dress up happening here with Eliza. Um, and uh, we, one of the things we love in the spring actually um, is uh, we have a little family of bunnies that live in our backyard. And amazingly, in the past week, when we've started to be stuck at home, um, we have started to see them, which has been really fun. It's like nature preserve kind of in our backyard. Um, and they're there every year. This is like the third year that they've been there. Um, and so we've been loving to, to watch these. There's three of them now. There used to just be two. Um, there's three of them now, and they come back every year. And so we watch for the little baby bunnies, and we'll see when they start to appear. So we're doing well. Um, we're just at home like everyone else. And it's um, challenging and hard. And every day is a little bit different. Um, I have found myself um, each day sort of has a word or a mantra that's emerging for me. Um, so on Monday, um, if you are on Facebook, I showed I posted a picture of my favorite uh, coffee mug right now. I don't know if you can see it. And it says, actually, I can. That was Mondays. Um, starting a new rhythm, trying to figure out how to do this. Um, that was my mantra for Monday. Uh, by Tuesday, the mantra was breathe and stop or stop and breathe, whatever order you want to put those in. Um, and so, I, you know, it became overwhelming and we have to stop and we have to breathe and regroup and recalibrate. Um, and then the third day yesterday was pace. Um, I realized... Uh, had a lot of things in my brain and there's a lot um, that we're trying to figure out as a ministry staff and also um, just in our own families. Um, and so whatever we do has to be sustainable and yet helpful and supportive and all those things. And so, um, so yeah, so pace. So those are my three mantras. I don't know what today is going to be yet. Um, and we'll see what emerges. So um, for us, you probably know now from Carol's posts yesterday that we are trying to do um, kind of a 10 a.m. check-in every day with those who are willing to join us. Um, and uh, so today for us, I thought we might do, hang on one second, friends. Hey, it's okay. You can finish your snack. Can you finish your snack? It's yours. You can have it. It's okay. All right. Um, uh, we are, um, uh, of course, have um, lots of things in our mind, and I want to. I wanted to give us um, a practice, um, a prayer practice, something tactile that we can do um, whenever we are um, needing just to get thoughts out of our brain. And for some people, that's journaling. For other people, that's coloring. For other people, that's being in silence or going for a walk. Um, but today, I thought we would uh, do something that we can do together. So if you'll get out your pens and your markers and pencils, um, what I'm using today is one of um, my favorite things called Praying in Color by Sybil Macbeth. Um, it's drawing a new path to God. And I'm just going to walk us through um, kind of a, a prayers of the people kind of way to do this together. So, um, and if you want to, you can also... Um, uh, later, if you feel comfortable, you could take a picture of this and post it in the comments or post it on our Facebook page for other people to see what we're doing. Um, and for us to be in prayer with one another, you could send it to your Bible study class, whatever you want to do. Um, so first, if you would, I'm going to put this in front of me. Um, uh, I want to invite you to draw a shape on your page. Um, it can be any shape. It can be a square, a circle, a triangle. It can be a line. Um, it can be whatever shape you want it to be. And then in the center of that shape or around that shape, um, write your favorite name for God. It could be creator. It could be sustainer. It could be um, uh, whatever whatever sounds good to you right now, whatever you need God to be for you right now. Um, take some time to draw that and write that in. And there'll be some pauses in this and that's okay.
Then I want you to um, make a new shape somewhere near your other shape that you drew. And I want you to write your own name in that shape. And as you're writing your name in that shape, I want you to think about what you need today. You can add details to your drawing. You can add lines or circles or squiggles or um, this is kind of stream of consciousness. So just um, draw or write whatever feels right for you to do. While you're doing that drawing, you might um, uh, for yourself, think about um, what you need most. Think about um, gratitude, what you're grateful for. Um, and if you're not sure what you need, that's okay too. Um, just draw, just color and connect with God in that way. And then keep drawing until it feels finished. Um, Then I want to invite you to draw another shape. You can connect it somehow. You don't have to. It can be in a different spot on the page. And in this, um, in this particular shape, write the name of a person um, in your family that you want to pray for. It can be more than one. Um, but write the name of a person in your family that you want to pray for. And as you color it, as you um, draw those lines or circles or dots. Think about what they need in this season. Think about um, uh, what they might be worried about or concerned about. And when that drawing feels finished, when that name feels finished, um, you can speak words over that. Um, yes, someone just sent me a thumbs up. That's a great way to let me know you're done with that piece of the drawing. Um, you can um, end it with a prayer to yourself. Um, Hear my prayer, Lord, um, for this person, or amen, or whatever feels right. Next, I want you to think about someone who, um, someone who uh, in your neighborhood, someone on your street, someone um, that lives nearby you, um, write their name in some form, in some shape, and offer prayers to God for that person and their needs. Um, I know for us, we have a neighbor next to us who is elderly and we're really concerned about him um, and we're checking on him. So that's who I would write in my box if I were coloring with you. If you're just joining in, we're doing some coloring prayer this morning. So if you have paper, markers, and pens, we've drawn a shape with our favorite name for God. 
and we've colored it and prayed. We have drawn a shape with our own name in it and our own needs and concerns and worries, and we've colored it as we've thought about those. We have thought about um, a family member that we want to be remembering in these days. And we've also thought about a neighbor, someone in our neighborhood. So if you're just joining, you can um, create some shapes on your page and you can um, uh, color and make details as you're praying to God for those things. Next, I want you to uh, create a shape um, for those who are isolated right now because they are in a care facility, um, because they cannot see their family and friends. If you don't know the name of a person that you're thinking of, um, that's a great uh, name to write in this particular shape and remember those words. After you have um, drawn there, if I'm not giving you a time, enough time, um, just pause for a second and type in for me so I know to go a little slower. type these in the comments here so you can see them. Um, next, we're going to pray and color for um, our healthcare workers and folks who are trying to be prepared, um, folks who are thinking about the best ways to take care of our city um, uh, and make sure that we have what we need. So pray for our healthcare workers. And if you know the name of someone, write that name in that box and pray for that specific person. Many of us have been out and about trying to um, uh, get our medications refilled or get our groceries for the week. Um, and you've probably met someone um, along the way in your journey. Um, so I invite you to um, draw another shape on your paper, pick a different color, um, uh, and write that person's name that you have come across in this season of uncertainty and stress. Um, and offer prayers to God for that person, wherever they happen to be and whatever they happen to be doing. Um, next, let's uh, draw in that shape, a new shape, um, someone who um, may not have what they need in this season, um, someone for whom school closing or, um, or church not being present, like gathering physically or uh, whatever that need might be that we're not sure 
um, how they're going to make it through, um, write that person's name in a new shape and offer prayers to God for that person. Um, and for this last one, I want to invite you um, uh, to share in the comments um, what is on your mind um, in this last shape. Who do you want to pray for that I haven't said yet? Um, we could do this for, you know, an hour, um, which is not uh, probably um, feasible, really. But uh, you can continue this wherever you are. So for right now. Um, pray in color for um, a person in a new shape, and I invite you to share with each other in the comments um, what you would like to pray for, who you want to pray for. It doesn't have to be a specific name. It could be a group of people. Um, Praying for our staff, praying for students who are not in good home environments. Pray for Highlands choir members and for Kathy and Austin. It's hard not being together. Yes, even prayers can be math lessons. We're grateful for that. Prayers for our governor for making hard decisions, for parents and caregivers. Friends with elderly parents with health issues. Yes, all of these. Friends, as we continue in these days, I'm going to offer a prayer for us to close. Those who have deaths in their families and cannot gather tomorrow. Yes, yes, Diane, for sure. That's got to be so hard. Um, I'm going to offer a prayer for us to close. I invite you to continue this practice um, wherever you happen to be this week. Um, when you get to that place where you need to take a deep breath, and like today, it's pouring rain outside and you can't go for that walk, this is a great way to just center down. Um, I know some sidewalk chalk art with Eliza is what reminded me that this would be so helpful for me. Um, so uh, let's pray together. God, we are grateful for, this is an eyes open prayer, by the way. God, we are grateful for um, creative spaces to be able to gather together. We are grateful um, for our community of faith that we have nurtured um, all along the way so that now we can continue those relationships in new ways. Um, God, we pray for all of these that have been named here in the comments that are in our hearts and minds. Um, I pray for every name that has been written in every shape um, I don't know those names, and I can't see those shapes and those colors and zigzags and squiggles. Uh, but God, we know you that hear our prayers, whatever form they come in. Remind us that we can do this, 
even if it's hard, remind us to stop and to breathe and remind us to pace ourselves and to have grace for ourselves as we go through these days. It is in your name that we pray and we gather together and we remember um, who we are in difficult times. Amen. All right, friends, I hope that you have as good of a day as you can. Um, if you happen to be a family with a preschool child, we are going to have a preschool kids check in on Zoom at 1130. And there is an email in your inbox with the link to that. Um, we're going to be doing some of those things for our families um, throughout the next few days. So I can't wait to see their faces. I miss them and I miss you and take care of yourselves. Okay. And uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m., I think it's Perry's day. Perry will be up tomorrow at 10, so watch for him. We'll see you later, friends.